it's uh, Wednesday morning. It's kind of noisy out this morning. Seems like they're weed whacking or something like that. So, yeah, getting this day started. It's a good day. And, uh, yeah, see what's going on today. See what's going down in town because I got to go to work. Um, we'll see what's what's uh, cracking down there. <laughs> uh, you never know. Every day is a, a mystery at that uh, down at that shop. Yeah, out here doing. I did a little bit of filming this morning, and uh, was trying to uh, get some stuff filmed. I may need to replace this camera. I'm not sure. I I'm, well, I think eventually yes. I, uh, right now, this is the only camera I got. Uh, I do need to invest in another one. Um, I think mainly what's going on with this camera because what happens is it, it does uh, sometimes it does funky things with video uh, It'll cut off. It'll freeze up um, Weird stuff that it does and one thing I really don't like about it Which is the the feature when you shoot things in full 1080p that once the, the time goes over 14 minutes It divides the file into two and you can't get them together on the camera um, I'm sure there's an editing program that you can get it in and, and fix that and, and put them together, but uh, I don't uh, I don't have it <laughs> and I don't know how to use it. So anyway, but uh, yeah, I think part of the reason too what's going on uh, that doesn't bother me so much as uh, all the uh, mishaps that it does, um, accidentally deleting footage, not not recording when it says it's recording. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with the uh, battery. Um, for some reason, these cameras these cameras are not made very well. I'll tell you, they uh, the little plastic uh, clip on the on the battery where it holds it in, it broke. So now the battery just kind of falls out of it. Uh, so whenever I take the SD card out of it, the battery comes out. And I think with all that, just the battery coming out, coming out, coming out, it's like a like a full blown reset on the camera. I think it's just taking its toll on it. So again, that's just a flaw because that little clip is such a little tiny little thing and it just broke uh, so anyway eventually I think I do need to invest in another camera um, yeah unfortunately but I think uh, you should have a couple cameras anyway when you're doing videos and stuff like that so well um, it's about uh, getting time to get out of here and uh, head down the hill and get to work we'll pick it up from there up you guys I'm at work here and uh, just got done doing a video actually on the field strip on a Walther PPS I did this video because it's such a strange uh, it, it's not too strange but it is definitely a little strange on how this thing comes apart and everything on uh, a basic field strip really um, go ahead and uh, show you uh, real quick right here in the vlog go ahead and put the, uh, the barrel and the spring back in I tell you it's it just uh, it struck me as very strange so when you go ahead and put this thing back together you slide the uh, slide back on as normal but then you just kind of click it into place take the back strap and you line up these little dots right here and then it just kind of goes back into together um, normally what when you think of something like this you, you just go ahead and uh, pull the trigger yank it back and hit the tabs uh, very Glock like but in this case it's a little different you check and make sure it's uh, it's not loaded and everything you hit this little tab on the bottom that comes out and then that peels away um, then you can just go ahead and pull this down and uh, it comes off the rest of the way now I was uh, I found there's a different I mean I don't know if what how much of a difference this makes but I'll go ahead and share it with you I'm not going to do it on the uh, bad Jack JW channel because uh, some people may find it uh, maybe so oddball that uh, they might oh you're doing it wrong or something but here's a different thing I found out instead of going through all that is you go ahead and pull the trigger like normal go ahead and yank that back and drop the slide okay now before you put it back together right down in here just go ahead and push that down slide the slide back on I don't know it's just something I found uh, maybe it's a uh, I don't know why they did it this way but it seems to be the I guess there's two different ways maybe I don't know <laughs> find this interesting <laughs> so we got one of these uh, transfers in it's a Glock uh, and the way it was shipped like this okay no key 
uh, there's <laughs> they didn't ship the key so I guess this fellow is gonna have to cut this thing off or or whatever <laughs> I don't know um, but yeah got a Glock uh, 23 Gen 4 with a lock on it <laughs> with no key <laughs> so that's gonna be interesting I'm sure it's uh, not too much of a trouble to cut one of those locks I've never cut one of those locks before so um, but I I reckon it probably is pretty easy being they're free they usually are free so I don't know well, we'll see right <laughs> at the bookstore here it's a music and book exchange DVD exchange and I got a little credit voucher that I've had in my wallet forever so I figured I'd spend it and I was uh, looking for this movie with Mel Gibson it's called The Beaver <laughs> and uh, it's got Jodie Foster in it and everything that's my phone who is calling me all right this is the drive-thru yes I'm going fast food tonight because I'm tired I don't want to cook anything, so get some fast food. Not good for you, but this is what you gotta do when you're lazy. I have to kind of talk loud because I got the window open because it's kind of humid out, but on the radio. I was just listening to something that was very interesting and it said uh, the dollar value in the state of Hawaii is actually one of the lowest out of uh, the 50 states and it's a valued $100 is valued in Hawaii at $84 and 62 cents um, in other states uh, a lot of times it's valued over $100 uh, I think in uh, I forget where it was in Wyoming it might have been it was uh, almost 120 uh, in the value of it so that was kind of interesting and uh, I definitely can tell you we feel it out here it's expensive to live out here no joke you made it you made it the end of the vlog <laughs> did you actually make it mm. anyway thanks for watching you guys uh, it's been an interesting day I <clears throat> That Walther uh, firearm, that uh, PPS, that is a really interesting little uh, bit how it comes apart. Uh, that is so strange to me. I mean, I never really could imagine that you uh, you drop the slide or you, to uh, remove the uh, to slide, you take off the uh, the grip, the the back strap. Really strange. Um, you can do it without, as you saw, just uh, taking taking it off uh, like the normal way you would like a Glock or something but then you have to push that little uh, I, so I don't know I'm not sure what all that is about I, I must say uh, I'm a Walther fan I, I like uh, a lot of the different Walthers and I'm definitely looking for the uh, the P99 but that one that I'm not too much of a fan of the PPS um, I must say just I didn't like the way it felt in the hand that's just my opinion I uh, <laughs> you're you know some people like them I think it would be a good uh, if you were to conceal it uh, like an inside the waistband uh, holster or something I think it would be really awesome because it's, it's so flat uh, but as far as gripping it uh, I didn't like it I, I don't know maybe it's just my hands I don't know I didn't like it but anyway um, went to the uh, the bookstore as you saw and uh, I got this movie and uh, this is kind of a strange movie. <laughs> hey, um, Santee over there at uh, Santee, won't, have you seen this? <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> that's kind of an inside joke we had going on. But anyway, I, this is a really cool movie. I think it didn't get as much, uh, it didn't get liked as much, I, I guess you could say. People kind of felt like it was odd, it was an oddball. Uh, you have to kind of like Mel Gibson, and you gotta kind of like Jodie Foster. Yeah, if you, if you like, then you'll like this movie. But it's kind of weird because he's he's kind of uses the this beaver puppet as kind of like this alter ego, and it's it's kind of funny. It, it really shows you that Mel Gibson can be pretty funny. It, it's it's kind of a strange movie. Now I admit, it's been a while since I've seen it. <laughs> So I may have to tell you do an update on that, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm 
so I throw it in the DVD player. Hopefully, I don't fall asleep watching it. Uh, it tends to happen to me. But uh, yeah, I went to the uh, this uh, used bookstore place. It's called Kona Bay Books. You can see right there, seven dollars and fifty-five cents for a used DVD. They're kind of expensive, um, but the way to go about it is credit vouchers. Take stuff, turn it in. Um, they don't give you very much money for that stuff anyway, but uh, it's just the way it works. It's just a, an ongoing trading thing. Uh, you can pretty much count that their discs are in good shape. But uh, the, the other thing is, though, I got to give them credit, though, where credit's due. They do have stuff that uh, you may be looking for, like this. I, I went to Walmart, went to Target, couldn't find it. And, yeah, I kind of knew they would have it. So that's kind of the, uh, the trade-off there, which is fine. That's okay. Uh, so, anyway, I'm going to get this one out of here. I did film the little segment or a little video called uh, Tales from the Bench. I'm still going to go over it and look at it. I'm not sure if I'm going to post it. I, I'm still not sure of that. Uh, but uh, let me know in the comments maybe if you guys want it. It's not really, it's just more stuff. Uh, this this time around what I did was uh, I talked, to, it's, it's quite a long video. I, I will uh, warn you about that. It's kind of a long video. I'm not sure if you guys like those or not. Um, but it's kind of about uh, me getting into uh, music and uh, you know, being in a band and playing uh, music and uh, getting into drums and all that kind of stuff. And a little bit about, uh, a lot about, it kind of deviates off and it talks about uh, me getting interested in guns and all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of, mm, if you care. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get out of here, you guys. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe as always. And I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday. And, oh, yeah, check it out on the main channel on BadJackJW. The Colt Agent, the Snubby video is up. So check it out. It's on the main channel. It's uh, going up tomorrow morning. Uh, it'll be going up at uh, in the morning, I guess, Hawaii time over there. Probably be uh, either around noon or afternoon for you folks. So check that out. Anyway, like, <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, you guys. I'll catch you later. You know what?